today we're going to be talking about the flux core alpha now they did launch this last friday at around midnight and i do apologize if there is an echo in the room i still need to <clears throat> work on finishing my studio and getting some stuff on the walls obviously because things are very bare in this room so this is their leaderboard and if you guys haven't been here yet, man, I suggest you guys go check it out. There is 1,584 machines and 2,311 GPUs, 9,000 benchmarks. Look at this guy's AI score, 84,900. What the heck is this guy running? What is this guy running down here? Holy smokes, Jimmy Jazz. What does this guy got here? He has a 4090 on a Z79 motherboard. 13 gen i9 13900k oh man big big pp thing here 120 gigs of ram ddr5 dude this machine is expensive but amazing but let's get into flux core well everybody wanted it and everybody wanted it since the launch day dark mode is here <laughs> and all you guys are probably super excited i don't mind the day version as they would call it or light version but for everyone here i will leave it in dark mode you know so anyways now i will say that if you guys missed this i did do some testing with my ram and we had some really interesting results i'll do i'm going to chop down that live because that live stream was like two and a half hours long so I'll probably chop it down to just do segments of the memory, but be sure to go check it out and go watch that live stream. Um, it was really interesting to see the test results of this memory testing that I did here. But let's get into the basics of FluxCore. So this is the home page here. This is where you can claim your proof of useful work rewards. Obviously, proof of, proof of useful work is not live right now. And then you can see how many machines we have mining. I am currently not money right now. Um, I just booted up the machine because I have recently deployed a new network at my house. So I'm doing a lot of stuff, man. I'm working, doing work with Terra and, you know, as usual. And then I'm, I'm just really busy. So machine wise, though, this is this is where we start getting into like the actual really cool part here. So if you click on this I, uh, information button right here, you can actually rename your machine right here. So really, really cool. And then obviously it has our status, our systems in idle, because I'm not testing right now. And it'll, it'll display a little bit of what we're doing, you know, what's going on in our machine. You can also, they have these three buttons right here. You can also run the benchmark, rescan your hardware, which be sure to, um, anytime you make a hardware configuration change, be sure to do a rescan of your hardware to make sure you get accurate benchmarks. And then obviously we have the update client, which we're already up to date. So, and then over here, you can see your, my last AI score is only 35,000, but I am, I did leave four gigs of RAM in here. So we are really low on memory at this point. Then you can see, you know, the, the rankings. These are, if you click this little question mark here, you can see your immediate rankings of what you actually scored in what place you're in. I am way down on the charts right now. I think I'm gonna have to grab my 3090 and kind of climb up these charts again. So, <laughs> um, now you can scan the network if you do, if you want to find other flux core machines on here, you can do that as well. You can scan your network and see if there's other machines. You can also add, uh, you can also connect another machine to your flux core right here with a machine hash and password. If we click on our actual Ubuntu installation, which just for testing purposes i'm using ubuntu and not windows um i'll probably release probably sometime next week a video on how to actually do the flux core install for ubuntu in case maybe some people are getting tripped up but the issue is is sometimes the install works fine sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't install things and you have to like kind of manually fix it so i'll do an install and then i'll do like 
a couple general things you could do if you're running running into a few issues that you could try these fixes to try to get it to work. So we are in our system here and I, this, this layout here is amazing. It has everything you need right here, how much free space you have, the amount of RAM you got, GPU power, what OS I'm on, the kernel, motherboard, SSD, CPU, GPU, everything, you know, up and down right now. And then all of our usage that we have across the board at this current point in time. It's a really, really nice control panel. It displays a lots and lots of information. Now you can also change your CPU fans over here. So there is an auto control or you could set the fan speed manually yourself. If you don't think that the fan curve is, you know, maybe your CPU is getting too hot or something like that. And maybe the, the fan, the fan, you don't like the fan curve that's inside of flux. You could always change all of these values. You could change it to, you could change the target core temperatures or memory, whatever fans. You can change all this stuff, LEDs. You can, so you got a few configurable options right here on this cog for your CPU fans. This page is kind of continued. This is a little bit more detailed on each actual individual item. So you will have your GPU and like how much memory is being used. Well, I'm not testing, so it's not using anything. You have your bandwidth right here. We're not using any bandwidth because the machine's just sitting, not doing anything. Um, I would like to see though, um, the memory temperature displayed for the GPU um, and maybe the uh, junction temperature as well. I know that this is probably core, but I would like to see the junction and memory temps in here. Those are pretty important. Um, you can see your CPU temps, right? You know, how much we're utilizing, what speed we're at, how many cores and threads, we're at 34C. So now we're in the benchmarking section. And um, I'll start the benchmark here and we'll let the machine just kind of roll out here. So you can, you, can, you can actually test all the tests or if you wanna actually just do individually supported tests, like you could just do this test if you wanted, but we'll just check it off, all tests, start the benchmark and there it goes. Now it's gonna be doing a speed test check and then, it's, and then it'll start going on to all the other tests. Now, once all these tests are completed, like we could go to the uh, download here and all the downloads are in order from top to bottom, right? So the top is the newest and it gets older as the bottom. So if you wanted to see like your AI score, we'll just say for instance, you can see the last one I ran, I had 34,000 and then the one before that was 35, 35, 34, 35, 36. So you can kind of see and keep track of what your actual score is doing. So this way you can know if you're improving, is your machine getting better, is it getting worse? Maybe the, you need to rerun a test, you know, um, cause maybe you feel like the benchmark wasn't very accurate. So kind of really cool to see. Um, we have a, a continued hardware section with um, even more information like, you know, um, the actual manufacturer of the memory, This these are, Inex, uh, you know, memory dims right here, you know, how much it is, the speed and all that stuff. You can even see what slot it is. It, it, it'll even label what slot on the motherboard the, the, the actual dim is actually on, which is really cool. I really like that. Um, so you do get a little bit more information here uh, than you do um, somewhere else. Um, like here you have your 3080 RAM, your memory clock, what driver, power, so just some more information for you guys about your system. Now overclocking, this can really affect your testing, right? So um, you there is also profiles for mining if you wanted to actually do this. Now I think right now, I, I think I've had it happen to me. If I apply my Ergo Autolycos overclocks, that they'll actually carry over into my benchmark. I could be wrong about that and Maybe it was just a fluke. It only happened like one time. So um, I, I would have to do some really deep testing on that. So that's the benchmarking section. And then um, we'll get it. I'm not gonna go over the account section obviously because it has like my emails and like all that personal stuff in there, but they do have two-factor and 
you know, all these other security features that you guys will have with your Google account and everything like that will all be here on Flux Core. So you guys like I, I enable two factor. I have to do two factor every time I log into this thing. So pretty secure to get into. And then uh, we'll get into the mining now. So when you're in here in the, if you want to start the monitor, you have to actually come down here and click on your physical rig, like the king in blue. Now, now you're able to determine like what you want to mine. Like I want to mine uh, Elysium and I want to use LOL miner. And the pool I want to use is going to be, I don't know, we'll just say Hero Miners USS West. And then I do I have a wallet? I don't have any Alethium wallet, so obviously I'll need to make some, right? And then you would select the GPU you wanted to use, which would be GPU one. So what's kind of cool with this is though, is you can actually, if you had like, we'll say five different cards or four different cards on this rig, you could actually mine four different coins, which, which each of the GPUs and just tell them where you want it to mine. And you can do that in Hive too, but it is a little clumsy. You have to go to like the GitHub of the miner and go see how they actually use the, you know, the extra arguments in their config files. And then you have to set it up a certain way to make that GPU go to a different pool. And then you mine this one over here. It's really just a huge, it's a huge pain, right? To deal with, but this is pretty easy. You just come down here and I was like, okay, I want to use GPU one over here. Boom. GPU one's gonna mine a lithium. All right, GPU two, you're gonna mine, you know, flux. Boom, bam, easy. I like it. It's simple. One nice thing that they also have over here is I believe this is this is an API that pulls directly from what to mine. And let's say we wanted to mine a lithium with our 3080. Now, what to mine is not perfect. Okay, hash rate dot no is not perfect, right? They have flaws. They give you like a good general base they can kind of have an idea of around what you should be generating each day right it could be more it could be less but it's saying i should get 1.9 souls from 180 watts right at and we're going to say my electrical rate um we could say it's 12 cents why not let's get into be an average now look it's saying that um i'm going to be negative <laughs> I am not generating any revenue and I'm losing two cents an hour. So yeah, I'm going to be losing money every day. So obviously we're going to need to change the asset. Like let's, what about Chlor? What, Chlor? Okay. So check it out, man. Chlor is profitable with the 3080, at least from what the information is pulling here. So this is, kind of neat that you can just sit here and tag this and I can say, okay, well, I want to mine flux. Okay. Total revenue for the day. I'm making two cents. It's not great. What about, I want to mine meow coin. Okay. And it tells you, look, your estimated rewards. I should make about 2,500 meow coin a day. All right. Let's mine, let's mine Nexa. Okay, cool. So I think that's, I think that's kind of neat that you can do all your calculations just right here. You don't even have to leave this web page to go anywhere. They have the miner here. They have your calculator here. You can keep track of every, everything. So what we'll do is, uh, I believe it's still benchmarking right now. We are still benchmarking at this time. So, so that's going to conclude today's video pretty much, right? We got the benchmarks still running. You guys can, you know, run your miner. Um, I, I, this is amazing to see this kind of come out and actually be in existence, right? We have talked about this for so long and heard it and just heard all these glimpses about it. But now we actually are starting to get some of the pieces of the puzzles, you know, for, you know, flux core and proof of useful work. So anyways, guys, let me know how you guys like this. Let me know. Are you guys how excited are you guys for Flux Core? Let me know down in the comments down below. All right, this is Money King giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.